and welcome to your cozy little hair cleaning session. How are you feeling today? Okay, well, I hope by the time you leave our cozy little cottage here, you feel even just the littlest bit better. So, first, how is the temperature of the room? Is it too warm, too cool, just right? Okay, well, if it is ever a little too chilly for you, I have a very cozy blanket here. As this dark teal color, it's very soft. And it has a little flowered pattern on the inside with the purples, the greens, the blues, the orange here. So, if at any point you need to be wrapped up in this blanket, I will leave this. Let's fold this back up. I will leave this right here for you. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and sanitize my hands real quick. And if you wouldn't mind just telling me a little bit about what's going on with your ears. Mm hmm. Okay. Right. Have you been experiencing any? itching at all, or any pain, any swelling. Okay, nothing like that. That's great. It's very good. So, I would love to take a little look at your ears, if you don't mind. Is it okay if I touch you? Do I have your permission to do that? Please let me know if at any point you are experiencing any pain or any discomfort, okay? We shouldn't have that here, so just let me know. And I'm just going to firstly grab a little pen line here. I can just take a little look at the outsides of the ears. And this is going to be a little lo-fi, if you will. I'm going to be taking a brief look inside the ear with our pen light. I may employ the use of our magnifying glass here, but we're not going to be putting anything in your ear, okay? Alright, so let me take a little peek at your ears if you don't mind. The skin on your ears is a bit dry, which that could be due to just normal circumstances. That could be just how your skin is, but I think I'll take that into account when we are looking at what products we want to use and how we want to go about cleaning your ears, okay? Alright, I'm going to take a brief glance at the other one. real quick. I'm just going to look behind and see if 
there's anything lurking back there that shouldn't, okay. So I'm just going to fold the ear over and take a little look behind the ear, behind the ear, behind the ear, behind the ear, right here. Okay, and that, that looked quite normal. I didn't see anything out of the ordinary there. We're gonna go ahead and switch to the other side. proceed with the procedure without a hitch, all right? So, you mentioned that you weren't really sure about the hearing aspect, if there was anything different with your hearing, so I can do a few different hearing tests for you, if you'd like. Okay, that sounds great. So first, I'm gonna do a little finger wrestling test, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you close your eyes and then I'm just going to rustle my fingers in one ear or the other and I want you to just let me know if you hear it and on what side, okay? Go ahead and close your eyes for me. Close your eyes. Alright? And let's go ahead and start. Okay, you hear those okay? Right? Good. 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 Mm hmm. Good. Mm hmm. Yep. Good. Okay, go ahead and open your eyes. Alright, so that was easy enough, right? Okay, we're gonna make it a touch harder, and I'm just going to whisper some words in one ear or the other, and I just want you to tell me what that word is, okay? You can keep your eyes open, you can close them, it doesn't matter, just tell me what words you hear, okay? Okay, how was that? Yeah, you seem to pretty much get it. So I'm gonna do one last little test for you. And this is gonna involve a tuning fork. So I'm just going to strike the tuning fork, just like that. And I'll put it in front of one ear or the other. And I just want you to let me know what side you hear it on, okay? So I'm gonna have you close your eyes for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Very good. And let's go ahead and start. Very good. Since your hearing seems to be pretty well intact, I didn't 
I didn't think that uh, there was really any deficiency in your hearing. I think that we can go along with our ear cleaning without a hitch, all right? So I'm gonna start with a little bit of brushing and this is just a little preliminary cleaning so that we can get any loose dirt or debris or dust whatever may be lurking on there just from the day, all right? And we're gonna use this nice fluffy kabuki brush here And I'm just going to be running this over your ears. I might be doing these long strokes or maybe little short strokes to help loosen and dislodge any debris, okay? Please let me know again if at any point you have any discomfort or any pain, all right? little preliminary brush and I'm just going to work the brush all over the front and back of the ear and then we'll go in So your ear already looks a lot cleaner just from getting the general access debris that we get from just living our life day to day Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do that on the other side here just using long strokes firstly on the front and back of the ear there we go how is this feeling for you so far? doing okay? that's great okay, let's go ahead and get the ear itself noisy here at the cottage today. It's an absolutely gorgeous summer day in that. Mm-hmm. It's a bit of a chill though. Had a little cold front come through, so it almost feels like a fall day, really. I think everyone's out enjoying your ears are quite dry in nature normally I would go in with an alcohol solution but alcohol is extraordinarily drying especially for skin that's already so dry so I think we're gonna start by using a little chamois cloth chamois cloth here and I'm just going to clean up your ears in a little more detail with this cloth and this will help pick up 
any little bits. And then I think we're gonna go in with a cleansing oil sort of situation. And that'll help hydrate the skin of the ears without compromising its already pretty dry and brittle state, okay? over the skin. It's very satiny, very soft. And I can work by manually cleaning the ear rather than using a chemical solution. can keep as much hydration locked in to the skin of your ears. And that's very important. We don't want to dry out the skin even further. And with that cleansing oil, that will really, really help to build on that hydration. And I think it might be prudent for you to think about putting on some just basic face lotion, whatever you already use, whatever moisturizer, onto the skin of your ears after you take a bath or get out of the shower or wash your face. And that'll really help out as well. on the other ear and we've already taken off a lot of dust. You can see little bits on the cloth. So we're just gonna go ahead and just wipe them off. Right. You smell that summer breeze. It's so fresh. It's been nice to have the windows open in the cottage. And you can smell just hints of the wildflower. Right now, the rutabecchia is blooming and the coneflower is blooming quite a bit. They're your two classic summer flowers. Neither of them have too much of a scent, save for in the morning when they have the little dew drops on the petals, or after the rain is when you can smell them the best. Just has that airy sort of freshness to it. Just like hydrangeas. As beautiful as hydrangeas are, they don't really have a smell unless you're catching the smell of the petals after the rain the petrichor and the petals. But they're beautiful nonetheless. But you might be able to catch the sweet smell of the switchgrasses that grow. There is a prairie drop seed grass that grows wild here in these prairie areas. And you can smell it from feet away. It's quite strong, but has a very fresh smell to it. Okay, I think that looks good. And I'm just going to use a couple of cotton buds real quick to just finish making sure that the ears are free of any dirt or debris. Those can get trapped in the oil that we use. And then that just makes it kind of a mess. But this is a much better way to go. Make sure everything is spick and spin. the other 
here. Just going in with the other side of the cotton bud. Make sure there aren't any little fuzzies or any little stray bits. Want to make sure to keep this as clean as possible. in this little bottle here. a couple of drops each and then we're just going to rub that into the ears a little bit and that'll help lift away anything else and cleanse away anything else that's left, okay? Mm, has a very, very light scent to it just going to very gently put that on the ears, so it's a very light oil. We're not trying to drench your ears in oil, but just enough to get a sheen on the skin. Just enough to clean everything up. This works almost like a little ear massage as I am physically working in that oil into the skin. this feeling for you. Okay, you're doing well. That's great. That's great. 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 So I can feel little bits of almost like a grittiness, but it's real fine. It's a real fine texture. And that's just everything that we're lifting from the ears. of a cleaning to just wipe off any excess oil, but this cleansing oil is meant to stay on the skin and it'll be absorbed by the skin so that your ears don't dry out. It's like a little moisturizer, but we'll wipe off all the bits of dirt and whatnot all the little bits that we've cleaned off. We'll wipe all that off. And rinse it a little bit. And then we'll leave the rest. It's very nourishing. It's very luxurious. Okay. Very good. So, I've got a gentle cleaner in our little mist bottle here. Or spritz, rather. It doesn't mist. So I'm just gonna spritz a couple of spritzes into my hand. And we'll use that to just rinse away. cleansing oil. It's 
It's almost like a secondary ear massage. Trying to just grab one here. And let's get you all dried off. Just gonna take a quick look, make sure that I got everything off of your ear. look a lot less dry, which is good. So we had that little remnant of the cleansing oil that's on your ears, and I would still recommend that you use a little bit of moisturizer. Face moisturizer is generally a lot lighter than body moisturizer, so I would go that route if you can or just use a very little bit of body moisturizer and put that on your ears after you bathe and that should start clearing up for you as soon as it starts getting some more hydration, okay? Alright, is there anything else I can do for you? Okay, that's great. Thank you so much for coming to my little cottage to get a cozy little cleaning today. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Okay. I hope you have a whale of a day and a good rest of your night. Bye.
Thank you.